Hey guys, thank you for checking out my second commentary, which is the first time I got stitches. Now, this isn't the only time I got stitches. The, uh, the first time I got stitches is a lot more interesting, in my opinion. So, um, before we hop into this commentary, I want to talk about a couple things. First off, this gameplay is a bit long so I am going to be uh, leaving you off with like two minutes left and uh, yeah secondly I almost I am going to be hitting 20 subscribers soon which is like which is mind-blowing for me now I know it's not a lot but considering I started this channel like a month ago uh, I think it's a lot um, now, I know that there's a lot, like, more channels that grow, like, more rapidly in this time span, but for me, I think that it's a lot, um, so I'm trying to think of another thing to talk about, so, yeah, this mic, it, this microphone is going, it is, it's gonna be breaking soon, as you can see, my, like, the quality seems to be getting worse and worse. It might just because it's, like, 3 in the morning and I'm stumbling upon my words. It, yeah, it's, like, 3 in the morning. I'm sleep-deprived. I haven't slept in, like, two days. I have to get to bed. So, uh, I just, I just needed to get this commentary out because I haven't been posting a lot this week, which is a bummer. I've been busy with school and stuff. As coming back from March break and stuff, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, so yeah, let's hop into this commentary. So every like week or so, my friend uh, would go to soccer practice. Well, not his soccer practice; it's actually his sister's uh, soccer practice. So uh, one day in particular, uh, my friend asked me to go with him. Because I guess that it was really boring for him just sitting there watching her sister all day playing soccer. So, being me, I said yes because I had nothing better to do. So, I went with them. They drove me to the soccer field. And it was boring. I can see why he asked me to come. It was like three hours of just sitting there. Uh, so, what we did was... Um, we, there's like three soccer fields, so on one soccer field, we played, we just played soccer. I was in net, he would shoot on me. We did that for about like three hours, not three, wow, I am so sleep deprived, man. I am gonna about to fall asleep on the mic, but it, we played that for like one hour. And then we started climbing trees, so, um... There's this one tree which looked like a wishbone. If you don't know what that is, it's like something that comes out of a turkey. I'll, I will post a picture right now uh, showing what a wishbone looks like. So it looked like that. It like separated into two. And where the trees connected, or where the uh, two branches connected, I put my foot in and then I climbed up. And then I was trying to climb up. But my friend also wanted to come in the tree too. So. I don't know what he did, but whatever he did, it made me slip and fall, and um, I all I remember is all I remember is hitting my chin on the where the trees connected and and a uh, white flash of light, and then like opening my eyes, and then there's just like a pool of blood everywhere. Well, I'm probably exaggerating a bit, but it was, it was pretty bloody. Um, so, um, my friend, my friend, uh, like, when I looked at my friend, his look, uh, made me know that I needed stitches. So he just ran and he got his dad and we rushed home. And, uh, I'm lucky I didn't, like, I am lucky I didn't, like, injure myself, like, really bad but uh 
what I did was they rushed me home and my mom drove me to the hospital. She was a bit skeptical on the fact that I had to go to the hospital because she never likes going to the hospital. But when my stepdad saw it, he knew that I needed stitches and he made my mom drive me. And I waited in the waiting room for about, I have to say, five and a half hours. And when I got in, the doctor looked and by the time on his face, I, I, that was a dead giveaway. I needed stitches. And when I heard that I did, I was really scared. But um, when, when, like, I think when they give you stitches, at least in this hospital, they, they get a cloth with a hole in it and then they cover everything else but the, uh, the wound so they don't mess up. It is hard to explain, but, um, yeah. They, uh, it, so it, there's this cloth covering my face. It was, like, terrifying, because I didn't know what was going on. And, uh, I, I'm, I'm just waiting for the pain. I am, I'm just like, oh, yeah, let's just get this over with. This is gonna hurt so bad. So, about ten seconds goes by, and then he removed, like, and I don't feel nothing. Actually, I did feel a lot because the needle, the needle hurt more than the actual like stitches. It like the needle really hurt. I don't know why it hurt so bad. It hurt worse than like, like the flu shot and everything. I don't know why that is, but that's the deal. And um, yeah, um, I needed two stitches and. I had a minor concussion, which isn't too bad considering I hit my face off a tree. And I I had a headache for like a few days, which sucked. And that was the last time I went there to the soccer field. So um, that was how I got stitches for the first time. Uh, about my mic, I know my mic is crap. I'm gonna be getting a new mic soon, either a blue snowball or a blue yeti. I'm not sure. Um, I found a blue yeti on Amazon for ninety nine dollars, which is usually about f like a hundred and fifty bucks. So I'm gonna probably buy that uh, pretty soon. Uh, I'm gonna leave you off here. Um, so yeah. Uh, thank you for uh, watching. And I will see you next time.